Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's do this. Officials made his way here to center, and this first period is about set to go. The Blue Jackets start with possession as we are now underway. Great poke check on the reach. Colorado's moving it up the ice. Here he is, wrists it on net. Glove save. Oh, he snaps the glove save off there. Excellent chance in the slot. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. Quick shot off the draw. Lopez stick handling in his own zone. Moves it to Bjorkstrand. Nice pass back. Can't hang on after that hit. Moves the puck across to Boquist. Voracek's gonna play it against the half wall. Pinned up along the boards. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Colorado's got it now. From the point, looks to make something happen. Picked up along the wall by Johnson. To the front! And he easily stops that one. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Columbus has it in their own end. Kukin's moving the puck through his own zone. Great hands to handle the saucer wow. feed. The Avalanche have the puck in their own end. Here he is, and he scores! I like how quickly he got this puck off his stick in the high slot. He moved around, find some clean ice, and then beat the goaltender. The Avs have drawn first blood here in the opening frame. Relatively early first goal puts them in a nice spot here, moving into the last half of the period. From one point man to another. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck. Quick snap! Huge stop by Kemper! Change him off! Change him off! Joe's got the puck along the wing. Players tell us all the time that they don't know where the next mile is. Rings the bell off the post! The Avs lead in the game doesn't get stretched. It's a scoring chance, a good one too, James, but it hits the post and stays out. Read that perfectly with the post check. Change him off! Change him Wrist off! arms Change in the off. air, we got a penalty coming up. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Takes it into the slot! Whistle blown, stopping the play. They're trying to defend that lead aggressively, but they take a penalty. Now the penalty killers really have to do the job. The Blue Jackets get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. They might not get too many chances better than this, James. Down a goal and a critical power play. Scoops up the puck off the draw. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Helm. Stopped by the goaltender. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Domi's ready to take the draw here on this power play. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Columbus has it in the defensive end. The Blue Jackets take it across the blue line. Here's a shot. Makes the club stop. Kemper's going to hang on here for the whistle and stoppage of play. It's a good thing he does because you haven't mentioned his name and I don't know how long. The play's been at the other end of the ice forever. Comfer's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Blue Jackets win the draw. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Hammers a shot, denies him, he got all of it! Special teams so important, can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck in their own end. 
Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And they can't finish that one. Oh, he's going to be kicking himself for that. The play was there. He just doesn't execute that last pass for the scoring opportunity. And here's the pass to Domi. Skates across the blue line. Maintains possession. Puts it up front. And that pass attempt is deflected. The Blue Jackets have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Voracek. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Columbus takes possession of the neutral zone. Quick feed to Gerard. How did he stop that one? Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Here's a shot. That's turned away with a pad by Kimber. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. And now he moves it to Bjorkstrand. Denies him with the pad. Ten more seconds. Burakovsky's time is almost done. And that's picked off. Gerard's got a hold of the puck behind the net. The Blue Jackets' power play goes powerless. They still trail by a goal. His reflexes on display tonight. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Defenders get a break here. That stoppage in play came just in the nick of time. They're gassed out there. McKinnon's the player who can deke out defenders at top speed. He thinks the game just as fast as he moves, and his ankle breaker zone ability can leave opponents looking silly, guys. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Takes it along the wall by Helm. Quick pass to McKinnon. Carries it in. And a busted twig on the shot. Dismiss that chance. Columbus has the puck. Manages to hang on. Dishes it to Kukin. Moves it quickly over to Jenner. Handles the pass in the middle. Great reach with the poke check by Helm. Taken by Nyquist. Gives them nothing in front. Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goal is just better on this time. McKinnon's one of the fastest skaters, but when he dangles at high speeds, his ankle breaker zone ability makes him impossible to defend against. Wierenski's defensive game is his primary focus, guys, but don't be surprised if he jumps in on the attack. Those are two players I'm going to watch closely to see if one of them could be a difference maker for their team tonight, guys. Back to you. Corrales moving it ahead. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Avalanche have taken possession along the wall. Colorado's got control of it now from their own end. Handles the puck. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. The Avs have been really impressive defensively tonight. Their reads, their jump on the play has resulted in a number of stolen pucks. Puck scooped up by Bofist. Dishes it to Stenland. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Are you looking to impress at your next group event? Then right down. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. The Blue Jackets win it. Moves it to Bjorkstrand. Gerard's picking up steam. And not much on that one. Scooped up along the wall by McKinnon. Takes the pass. Columbus moves ahead with the puck. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. The Avs gain possession in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Branton has got it behind the net. That's not going to fool him. Freeze the puck. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Avs lead it 1-0. Sillinger's won it off the faceoff.
Now a quick pass to Bjorkstrand. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Burakovsky. The Blue Jackets take possession in the defensive end. Broken up at center by Burakovsky. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Quick shot, and he stands tall in goal. Here's a short pass to Nijuskin. There's a hit on the play. Easy peasy right there by Kemper. Nyquist is gonna play the puck behind the cage. What a stick save at point blank range by Kemper. Smothered that in close chance. And not much on that one. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Kukin. And makes the routine save. Merce Lickens opts to hang on to it to get a whistle. You start to wear down a little bit, you need your goalie to help you out. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Colorado's ahead, 1-0. The Blue Jackets win it in the defensive zone. Columbus plays it up ahead. Jabs the puck away. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Stopped by the goaltender, he got a little piece of that one. One of the things he was working on is trying to control where the puck goes after he stops it. The corner is a pretty safe play. Colorado's got the puck along the wall. And now it's grabbed by McKinnon. Stopped with ease. Merzlikens could use a little more help from his offense, but he's done the job at his end of the ice. It's close because of him. Colorado's got it along the wall. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the first job's gonna be to kill this penalty off, James, but maybe they take a chance down a goal to see if they can get a shorty. The Avs will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. You wanna win the special teams battle almost every night. Well, the power play's first chance to check in here. We'll see what they can get done. Up with the stick in the defensive end. Oh, off the crossbar! What a chance on the play! The Alps let out a collective groan here on the bench beside me as that puck rings off the pipe and stays out. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And he's able to handle that one. Quick feed to Taves. Here's a shot! Oh, what a block! He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Sends it over to Rantanen. And they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end. Up the neutral zone now. Here's a chance! And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Change up, come on! From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Turned aside with that block by Merzlikens. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. Landeskog's known to pad the stats when he puts in those rebounds, guys. His crease crasher zone ability means he can track down those secondary opportunities and capitalize on them. Gets it out of his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Colorado's moving it into the offensive end. Moves it around along the half wall. You'll need more than that to beat him. Here's an opportunity. Save made by the goalie. Quick reflexes give him the opportunity to make back-to-back -back stops. Colorado's got it in their own zone. Ten seconds. Domi's up and ready to join the play. And there's the save. Merce Lickens gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. Comfer's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Columbus with a big defensive zone faceoff. Nice job to escape the zone. Columbus shakes off the penalty. Both sides back to even strength. Immediately, this becomes really frustrating, but as they go back to the bench, the power play will look at that and say, we did a lot of good things. We do that again the next time, we're gonna score. 
Merzlikens elects for the breather and goes for the whistle. I like this play, James. He's seen enough chaos in front of him. Here in the back half of this period, 1-0 the score. Columbus wins the draw. Passes over to Voracek. Read perfectly with the stick at center by Murray. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. The Avs take it across the line. Oh, what a slick stop by Merzlikens. Shot! Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Merzlikens. Late goings of this period. Colorado's up one zip. Columbus wins the faceoff. Bonquist got the puck in his own zone. Can't connect on the pass. And he makes the easy save. Puck picked up by Bonquist. And it's a quick pass to Bjorkstrand. Great defensive play at center by Obey Kubel. The Avs have continually put themselves in good positions defensively tonight. It seems like every shift they're stealing a puck. From center, they get into the attacking area. Rocks him on the play. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Sometimes trying a little bit too much is just no good for anybody. That play gets broken up. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. The Blue Jackets take possession off the faceoff. They've got the puck now. You've got a tired defensive group to play against. Tremendous stop by Kemper. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. The Blue Jackets win it. And puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports. And we've got a third period just around the corner. Don't forget to check out our top ten moments in hockey history. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice. And we are ready to get this third period underway. Cylinders one possession. Quick pass to Bjorkstrand. Centering pass! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Sharp reaction save. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Avs have taken a 1-0 lead. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Battling for it along the boards. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Branton is carrying it ahead. Moves it quickly over to Voracek. The Blue Jackets looking against the half wall. The Avs gain possession. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. There's the whistle, icing the call, big face-off looming. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Centers jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Change the Avs up. move it in. Tremendous. He scores! No, wait, they're calling it off immediately here. Yeah, now they'll have to talk and decide whether this is going to count or not. No change in the score as that goal was waved off, and we are ready to drop the puck again. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Columbus plays it against the boards. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a chance. Snaps one on net, and that banks off a stick. The Blue Jackets have it now. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Moves it over to Nightfish. Make a change, make a change. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. 
And they keep the pressure on. Slides it quickly to Kavrikov. Hammers a shot. Can't get it to go. The Avs have it now. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. To his teammate. Couldn't complete the pass. Miss Lickens decides to cover it up for the whistle. Now, I don't mind this. The game's tight, and you want to make sure that the decisions you make are the right ones. Too tough to make up a bad error now. More than half the period left to play. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Columbus with possession in their own zone. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Rontanen's a good passer who doesn't throw it too hard or too soft, guys. He can dish them out just right to make sure his team can get things going. That's his tape-to-tape -tape zone ability, and it's how he likes to contribute to the play. Passes on over to Texier. Slides the puck across to Domi. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. Colorado's worked hard to be in the book. That's and he scores! When you're on the ice for a delayed penalty offensively, you have no worry about taking a chance. Nothing bad can happen. Man, does he make that look easily? Are you kidding me, James? What hands? As he dangles his way through the defenders, now he's got some space to make a play. A couple of seconds later, it's in the net. What an effort on that play, using his superstar ability to set up that goal and record an assist, guys. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Avs gain control of the puck. Taken along the wall by Helm. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Kukin. And they send it right back to him. Smart heads up, play to neutralize the threat. The Avs carried along the wall. Here's a blast! Turns him away! Merce Lickens is gonna slow things down and get a whistle. It's a good choice for him. It looked like the team is starting to become unraveled. More than half the period has expired. Colorado's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck has dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Moves inside! An easy save by Kemper. Scrum along the boards. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. Heads up, come on. Moves it to Texier. And that one's broken up. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. And that was read perfectly. What a play by Rantanen. It hasn't been boring. I mean, it's low scoring, but man, there's been a lot of chances at both ends of the ice. We've seen missed chances combined with great goaltending, and that gives you a low scoring game. Puck said down the ice, we'll get an icing. Carlton's got the answer as to who had the better night. McKinnon's gone to work, guys, and even though he hasn't been rewarded with a point, I've liked how he's played his game better. Puck grab by Bokles, and he blocks that one. Oh, you got to admire a player that can get down and block a shot like that. His team's still in the lead, and he puts his body on the line. The Avs scoop it up along the boards. With possession along the wall. Columbus moves it ahead. Colorado's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Coming up on the final. He scores! That's three in a row! This is turning into an onslaught. There seems to be no way to slow them down. Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net. Make it difficult on the goalie. Take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Avs have put in a complete team effort tonight, but they really look good offensively. Their arms are going to be tired from all the times they've had them up in the air here. This has been a <laughs> dominating offensive performance. No kidding. Oh, great core strength to hang on to the puck after that. Trying to get out of the defensive end. And there's the whistle icing the call.
getting into the later stages of this period. Colorado's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. The Avs moving ahead. Gets the full Big use of his line. stick on the poke check. Picked up along the boards by Obey Kubel. The Blue Jackets will play it in their own end. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Here's a short pass to Line A. Columbus on the attack. Fires one and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. The Blue Jackets can't make up the difference here. They're trailing, yet they've had way more scoring chances than their opponents. They can't finish. Slides the puck over. And there's the final horn, bringing this one to an end. His first shutout of the season is a beauty. He played well. The team played well in front of him as well. Is that a confidence booster now going forward? Has to be. You throw up a donut, you feel good about yourself. Well, this one's in the books. A fun one tonight for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Good night.